Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This tutorial is based on how to use Plan Swift to draw different type of uh, shapes like circle, rectangle, triangle, and any regular shape using dimension or using dimension 9 or using linear tools let's get started let us first start with how to use plan swift to draw a circle the page has been scaled That's number one you have to scale your page before you can take of all or do anything on your, any page so now first of all click on dimension so now the diameter of the dimension I'm going to do let us use 1.2 as the diameter just open first click on okay before I start drawing the shape let me first on this Keyboard. I want to explain something. So, can you see this arrow that's direct up side? This is the down side, left, and this is the right. So, by the time I mention, click on the arrow that move up and click on the arrow that indicate downward and left hand side and right hand side. You will to know that this is what I mean. Up down left and right okay good let me start again so we want to draw a circle the diameter of the circle is let's use one meter click on dimension first click on the first point and click on the down arrow and click on down arrow don't forget that I said that our, our, our diameter is one meter. Press one and click enter. I see automatically it will indicate the dimension by itself as one meter. So in order to get the midpoint of it, click on it and bring it down. Click on down arrow, enter 0 0.5 as the radius. Pick the midpoint here again. Come to the left hand side, click on the left arrow, input 0 0.5, that is 500. So come down to click on the midpoint again, click on the right arrow, and click on the uh, end input 0 0.5. Good. Press escape or click on the entire size. Uh, record so now click on linear tools you can rename it if you like but i am not renaming anything just to explain it you understand click on ok click on first point here now click on a that means you want to draw arc the circumference click on a click on the midpoint here and click on the last point here, still hold it. Can you see that you are done with the first arc? So now click on your A on the keyboard, click on A. That means you want to activate the arc. Click on this and click on the last point. Press escape. So now to confirm what you've done, which is you are right or not. Click on all the dimension that, that we use to achieve our second first dimension. Is. These are one meter. Let's escape. These are one meter. Are you seeing? That is how to draw. That is how to draw circle using linear tools with plan swift. So let us draw rectangular shape that it does use um 1.2 by uh, 
1.2 by 800 yeah so you let me first explain using linear to direct click on linear you can name it if you like click on ok 1.2 by 800 right okay click on it click on your down arrow the width is 800 click on ok continue right hand side arrow click on input 1.2 then come down this right click on this click on this so let us check it you are right 1.2 here let's confirm this it wouldn't 1.2 okay that the means up here yeah? so that means okay let me do it again it on the right it wouldn't oh i didn't click on down arrow first click on the first point then click on down arrow of 800 then come down to right hand side input 1.2 come back to top click on up arrow and input 800 come down again it's automatically 1.2 okay it does confirm 800 1.2 let me check drag it and bring it out if you are okay it's 800 okay 1.2 let me confirm 1.2 let me I see so this is how to draw rectangular shape using linear tools so there's another way by which you can draw this rectangle using dimension click on dimension first Point, click the first point, click on that arrow. Input, you want to draw the same square. Input 0 0.8, then click last point, come down, to, click on right arrow, input 1.2. Here, click on this last point, click on up arrow, input 0 0.8. So, click on this again. There. Yeah. Click on left side arrow input 1.2. Yeah, I'm going to do nice that just trace it out. Click on linear. Can use click on um box and record mode. Just drag it. Yeah, that is the second. Let me move this so I can delete all this. So this is the under way. Let me confirm. Open it. Get a range. Nice. So now, let me do, let me work on regular shape. But the regular shape I'm using to not waste, I don't know, maybe I won't reach, waste much of our time. So let me use linear tools direct click on linear tools you can name it if you like like i said earlier so what i'm going to do now is that i've sketched what to do what to draw so first one let me start with this three meter click on right hand side three meter oh sorry can you see now i have issue with it because that box mode Sorry. So let me change it to point to point. Click the first point, then click on right side perimeter. Okay. Then down arrow two meter. Left arrow 
four meter down around don't forget to click on all this arrow and input the value uh, down arrow seven meter and click on enter then left arrow left arrow click on eleven meter come back oh add this up arrow click on five meter I mean click on up arrow and input five meter then come back to right side I click on right arrow input four meter come back up and close it with four meter yeah let me dimension it oh we follow the way that I input the value three meter here two meter here two meter I mean four meter this one is seven this one is seven this one is what five this one is what four and this one is what four can you see let me dimension this diameter the diameter is one meter so this is how to draw different shape with um plant fifth so now okay to me let me draw let me draw triangle yeah the triangle i'm going to draw i will use um dimension line to draw it yeah let me use the draw 1.2 like this and the horizontal we also use 1.2 so now let's get started first click on the point first point then the vertical dimension so this is 1.2 do click on down arrow 1.2 Okay, it's too small. It's too small. Let me use like ten meter. Last time, let me use like ten meter. Click. Forget the first point. Click on down arrow. Let me use like ten meter. I see it's okay like this. So now, let me get the midpoint. Click on it. So, click on. Right arrow, let me get. I mean, let me use five meter. Yeah, so left arrow five meter and click on escape. Click on your linear to can you name it if you like. Make sure that it's not at port mode and box mode. I just trade it and escape. Can you see? Click on dimension 9. You can move it. If you want to move any thing that we have done in plus, you just click on shift alt and move it with your mouse. So you can just delete this one. Hope you understand the steps on how I draw all, all these shapes. Let me do this um circle once again some of what may not get it the way i do it let me use no so now let me use five meter as a diameter understand so now i want to redraw the second so click on dimension get the first point down arrow five meter Five meter. Click on it again at this point. Down arrow. Let's check and uh, get the midpoint. That is two point five, right? Two point five meter. So click on this midpoint again. Come down to the left hand side. That is. Click on uh, left arrow. Two point five again. Same time we gave it the right hand side. Yeah. Click on right side arrow. To input two point five. So now you can escape and click on your linear to 
so click on the first point here click on your i mean click on a a means you want to draw arc also click on a can you see click video point of arc so now click this one and click the last point if you achieve the arc to to activate for another arc just click on a on your keyboard click it first click the first point and click the last point yeah so now let us delete all this dimension and we can redimension it by ourselves to double check or to confirm what we've done dimension it what is this five meter this is five meter so this is how to draw to use plants for it to draw different uh type of shape thanks for watching and you are you are free to ask any question or anything that you want me to or uh, explain my on my channel Maybe I haven't worked on it since I've started uploading the video. I won't work on it, so you are free to ask any question and you can check me up on my, on my WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Facebook, or on comment box. You are free to ask any question that you want me you want me to uh to help you. Uh, solve any question that you want me to help you to solve. So, thanks for watching. I'm going to meet next time, next tutorial this week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the time and thanks for your patience. And a lot of my subscriber have been chatting me up that I haven't released any video this year. I've been busy. But as from now, or as from today that I release this uh, video, don't worry. I will keep on working on new, new uh, aspects of this taking off using the Plan Swift software. Thanks for watching.